in this video, we will explore Travify's different supplier import options. This is one of Travify's most powerful options because Travify offers over 100 different suppliers that you can access when building itineraries or proposals. Let's go ahead and dive right on in. By selecting the new event button, I'm going to receive a drop-down list of all the different categories of events that I can build into this day or section. Starting off with the top, by selecting Smart Import, you can copy and paste text in from a supplier's site, or if you've received a PDF document from a supplier, you can upload it within the second box. Import that information over, and that content will already be created for you. If you want to learn more specifically about Smart Import, make sure to check out that Getting Started video. Additionally, we have a couple of other supplier import options available to you. By selecting the Cruise option, you can use our Cruise Search feature. This is going to allow you to find cruises even if you don't have a specific one in mind, just by setting parameters and requirements that you're looking for. For instance, if I want to find a cruise within the month of March, I can select that date range. If I want to narrow this down, I can also select where I want this departing port to be out of. Let's go ahead and type one in. As you can see, we have Fort Lauderdale, so I'll select Fort Lauderdale. And if I want to get down even further to a specific cruise, I can select which cruise line I'm looking for specifically. Let's go ahead and select Royal Caribbean. Lastly, if you're looking for specific keywords, you can always use the keyword search. Let's go ahead and use that as well. Once you have found a cruise that you would like to import, go ahead and select it. And as you can see, you have a whole list of information that will import over for you. If you want to take a look at any, you can click into the tab and you'll see all of the different information included in just that section. If there's anything you don't want to have brought over, you can always deselect that option and you can also deselect whole sections if you don't need them. Once done, go ahead and select Import Selected Content. Now, as you can see, we have all of the information from this itinerary. It's gone ahead and populated for us the dates, as well as the information, departure, and arrival times. And by selecting this information section, I can see all of the ship information, accommodation information, and all of the rest of the sections I've decided to include on this itinerary. Let's go ahead and take a look at some other options. By selecting New Event, let's select Cruise once more, you can also choose the classic search where if you know your cruise line and cruise ship and the specific date, you can input that information to find your cruise quickly. It will import all of the itinerary information over, but again, if you're looking for on-deck items, you will want to use that search feature that has new right next to it. Moving on to tours, by selecting new event and selecting the tour option, this will allow you to put in the tour line and tour. You'll want to make sure your date is already in there. But by selecting the tour line, it will give you the drop-down list of all of our different tour suppliers we are integrated with. You can scroll through all of them, or you can use the search bar to find the specific one you're looking for. Let's go ahead and select this supplier for right now. And next, we'll select which tour we want to have brought in. I'm going to select a random one. We'll do Classic Japan for right now and select Get Itinerary. It's going to give you a preview of what this tour involves, so make sure your dates line up with each stop, and if this looks correct, you can add it to the itinerary. Now, as you can see, we have some information from the tour. It's going to show us the provider, as well as location information that the clients are going to be able to interact with to see even more information. What's nice about all of these providers is that you can still customize this to your liking. If you need to customize the information, just find the pencil icon and you can customize the details within the event itself. Lastly, let's talk about our direct booking suppliers. When you select a new event and select the booking option, you'll be able to find all of the direct suppliers where you can import your bookings. By scrolling through, you can see all of our different suppliers right from within here. And by clicking into one of them, you'll be prompted to typically log in with your account information with said supplier before inputting your booking number. This will bring over the specific booking for your client. Lastly, if you have any questions or if you aren't seeing a supplier that you work with pretty frequently, feel free to chat us or email us at professional at travify.com. We'd love to help out or set up a free training to make sure that you can utilize all of these amazing import options. But that's it. 
That is how you can utilize all of the different supplier imports within Travify to save yourself a lot of time within the proposal and itinerary building process. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to check out the rest of our Getting Started videos.